Shalom, shalom. In today's video, man, I got a clip that women need to watch and take the advice on. You cannot afford to take heed to the wisdom I'm gonna give you today. Roll that clip. Why are you running up on me, bro? Why are you running up on me like that? Why are you running up on me like that? You are too young to be acting like that. So what? You need, you know what? I'm gonna call the police. You call whoever you want. I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna call the police. You better stop grabbing my phone. You better stop grabbing my phone like you grown. You better stop grabbing my phone like you grown. You can't put me out on nothing. Yes, I can put you out. Like I said, I'm gonna go do what I want to do. This is my house. What? I help pay the bills. I don't care. What bills you help pay? Mom, you can't. What bills did you help pay? You my mom. I'm your son. You can't tell me where to go. But you gonna if you're gonna hey, be running up on me like that, you're gonna get up I'm, out of here. You're every day I'm outside like heading why, block. Why are you going Come to back. sleep with a with a ski mask on? So why is you posting me on no. social media? Talking about what you mean? Why I'm posting on social media? Because look how I'm you act. This is for my protection and for my safety. It's for my protection and my safety. Get back. Get back. Ain't no get, get back. back. I'm not getting back. Get back. I'm not getting back. I'm not getting back. Every day on spinning these blocks. You better get back. What? You better get what? What? Every day is the same. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. So what we saw is a mother having a back and forth dialogue with her son. And he says some pretty wild, you know, foolish and ignorant stuff. This man said, this is my house. This is my house. This young man said, this is my house. I'm in them streets. Women, man, I'm hoping you take my advice for your sake. When I say a woman cannot raise a man, before you get offended and have the need to prove me wrong, I want you to understand that there are plenty of women out there right now that are having this same problem out of their sons, out of their kids. What I'm telling you is, I want you to understand this because a lot of people will say, where is the father? But I also want you to think about the reality out of a lot of these situations, whether it be uh, out of marriage or in marriage. If this is the product of a divorce, the kids are gonna go with the woman 90% of the time statistically. You can prove that, okay? This is an example of a young man that has been given too much leeway for far too long. Oftentimes you make the mistake of wanting to give the kids over to the father when they're getting on your nerves. That little bit of time that you give the father is not enough to enforce and instill discipline and instruction into a young man. It's not enough time, you know? And then you have some women that their father, the, the child's father is really a deadbeat. Some of them, some women didn't learn that the man was a deadbeat until after they laid down with him. You thought his deadbeat ways was gonna change. When I tell you as a father, I'm a father of three happily married men. Man, the kind of discipline that it takes to raise boys, it is aggressive, it is abrasive, it's raw, and it's tough. Let me tell you something, we can be having it can be a perfect, a perfectly normal night in my house and my sons will go to fighting. And in that moment, my wife is gonna take a different approach. You know, 
when you think about a woman, you know, being able to argue, there's no way that that young man should have been given that much room to argue with his mother. Because I often say this on my channel, you're not gonna out argue a woman. You're just gonna end up mad. Women, I want you to understand, you cannot give these young men room to argue you. It's not a back and forth. You are the mother. If you are the authority figure, you have to take the stance of an authoritarian. You can't be their friend. This young man is saying all kind of crazy stuff as if he's got some skin in the game, as if he's paying bills and all of this, sitting up with a ski mask. Listen to me. My wife knows how I feel when she's bringing, hey, the boys wanna do this, this new trend. I'm like, hell no, I see where it's going. I see where it's going. And you gotta think about how many men, how many young boys was walking around with these poo shiesty masks on. And I don't know no man out there that's involved in this child's life that's gonna let him do that. Back to what I was saying. It can be a normal night in my house and my sons can go fighting like cats and dogs. My wife will take a different approach to handling that matter. They'll play the blame game, they'll do all of this, but I'm handling it, I'm handling it real and raw. You know, they will uh, flambe their hands while talking to their mama. I'm from the approach of keep your dog on hands by your side. You see, my son, they, they, you have to deal with young boys in a certain type firmness, or they will become ruly over you. Start telling you what you're gonna do. The same thing uh, a rebellious uh, young lady will to her mother. This is, this is an example of, it's almost too late to correct the discipline and some of these issues that this young man had. Giving them to his father at this point in the game is a sure way to get that young man punched in the mouth. That's a sure way. Because all of the, you know, there's times in the house when I see the conduct of boys, of my sons, not the way I want it. And we have some, we have some, some tearful moments where they have to get broke down. They have to get broke down to realize, hey, y'all ain't acting right. You know, my best advice for some of these uh, single moms, you are going to have to get behind closed doors if you cannot depend on a man. If you have a man or the child has a father, this is your opportunity. You need to start pushing your sons more towards the father because they're getting out of hand for you. If you don't have that option, you know, behind closed doors, ain't nothing wrong with a backhand. I guarantee you that young man would have felt a backhand through that poo shiesty mask. Guarantee you that, you know? My grandma, even when my grandfather wasn't around because he was at work and stuff like that, my grandmother in the middle of Walmart would grab my ear and twist it. And I knew. But that's stuff that was done early on in life. So when I got older to this young man's age, I didn't try it. I was respectable. He's well gone beyond that. You know, the minute that boy start talking tough, you I'm telling you, you have to give him a, a good backhand in love. That's what I'm saying. Not promoting no violence or nothing like that. But that boy has been spared too many whoopings. Too many whoopings. Too many spankings. You know, he didn't get enough rearing. He didn't get enough rearing. You know, in order to address that issue of what that young man needs, you know, you have to be comfortable, okay, of handling it, handing it over to the father. There's nothing wrong with handing it over to the father if this is the product of the environment that you have allowed to be created in the house. There's nothing wrong with handing him over to his father and let the father handle it. It's a father's job to turn this joke into a man. 
don't give and, and now here's where you make it hard as a woman you would give a 15 year old you know who hasn't had the time spent around his father because he potentially might have had to fight you and all of this nonsense you would give a 15 16 year old over to the father and expect overnight results when this is not an overnight type problem. This has been festering for a while. This has been festering. And you gotta understand, you know, him being a boy, him being, uh, you know, filled with testosterone, rebellious like that, you see the way that young man stepped to his mama, you need somebody that will make him think about stepping to you that way see without the firm hand of the father you know coming behind that that incident and straightening that out like you're looking at you're looking at another jail bound young man you know statistically a lot of times women get offended when you talk about okay the statistics behind single mother households but this is a true example and I'm hoping you take the wisdom out of it. No man wants to have to fight a woman to see his kids, to have visitation, you know, and then one day you get a call talking about you need to come get your son. Cause that's often when, you know, uh, women want to hand the son over when he's getting on their nerves and their patience is ran thin. But this whole time they've been in this environment of being coddled, you know, they're entitled. They think they don't have to work. These women are making them, you're making them, uh, you know, male divas, buying them every doggone thing. Ain't no way in the world that boy will be walking around with name brand clothes. He'd have some clothes at the thrift store talking crazy like that. Ain't no way that joker would have a cell phone. Ain't no way that joker would be up on the video game, uh, you know, playing. That, all that joker at that age is gonna know is hard labor because that's what he's gonna get. He's gonna get forced labor if he keeps on rebelling like that. I'd have that boy doing everything in the house and the minute he say something, pop right in the mouth. With love, with love, gotta say in love. Slap him and then rub him. You all right? Pop, you all right? Pow, you all right? That's what they need. That's what they need. But there's plenty of young men out here that pop off like him that haven't been raised in structure. And as a woman, let me tell you something. This is no, this is no mistake to you. As a single mother, you cannot fulfill the role of a mother and a father. Something is gonna suffer. Something has to give. The most high y'all designed it for a child to have two parents mother and father so it would be best suited for you when you're dealing with these young boys at an early age and you're seeing these issues and they're problematic you need to make sure these young boys get enough time around their daddy because now it turns into okay hey I need you early on this is stuff that I'm noticing. Let's, let's, uh, I'm briefing it to you so you can help correct this since he is a boy. As the damn daddy, I'd, I'd, I'd be kind of pissed because I'd want to know how long have you been engaging in back and forth with this boy? Because here's the thing, boys don't do that with their own father. They know what time it is. They don't do it. And it would be like, if I, if I would have found out You've been engaging in these back and forth for like five, six years? And you let it get this bad? Like, you had help. You got men out there that truly want to father their kids. Apart from being in a relationship with you, they, 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 they know they want to father their kids. There's no father out there I know that has a son talking crazy like that that's worth his weight in gold that doesn't want to help rectify some of these situations that we're seeing. But you have to allow the fathers to be a father. Oftentimes in your head as a woman, you can't separate the two between having a man and a child having a father. So what do you do? 
since you can't have a man or the man don't want you or whatever reason, the child also can't have a father. And this is the product, the foolishness that comes behind that. Now you're dealing with a young man that cannot regulate his emotions, talks crazy to authority. His mother is an authority figure over him. And look how he's talking. I'm telling you, man, you know, I live on a homestead. So physical labor uh, oftentimes goes a lot farther than whoopings. Whooping might last, you know, 15 minutes, but that physical labor in the hot sun, woo! Yep, son, this is what your life is gonna look like if you're gonna mouth off to authority. Hand them an ax and have them chop wood till their doggone arms fall off. They will, I guarantee you they won't have it. No doggone uh, energy to mouth off to mama and try to run up on mama. What? I'm telling you, a lot of women that see this, if you got sons that's getting unruly, I'm telling you, reach out to the father. When it comes down to this, this ain't about no money. This ain't about what you like. It ain't about none of that. It's about making sure that the young man, boys are doggone responsible, respectable men. I'm telling you, the daddy might not be able to teach them anything else, but I guarantee you, a lot of these boys, the way they buck up to their mama, won't buck up to their daddy. Even if the daddy ain't even, even if the daddy hasn't been in their life full time for whatever reason, they won't buck up to their daddy. The element of surprise is always in their mind that they could catch a good, strong right hand and then, and then be given a Ziploc bag to put some ice into and told go in there and doggone shut up and hold your face, hold that ice on your face. I'm telling you, man, this, I, you don't know how many, when I was an army recruiter, uh, working in some of these schools, man, seeing these young men and, you know, seeing them get in trouble at school, getting in fights, getting suspended, and then the mama would come up there and, and, and pretty much make excuses for bad behavior, for, for poor decision-making in these young boys. And I used to tell these boys straight up, hey, hey, yep, Army will get all that out of you. Get all that out of you. Guarantee you won't be trying to do that once you realize this stuff got consequences and repercussions behind it. Man, I hope I've said something to help you out. The goal wasn't to offend no women, but I know for a fact, I've seen it myself. There is women out there battling bad kids. You know, if you've ever been to, uh, you know, uh, a sporting event for like kids, basketball, football, stuff like that. Man, I see these kids all the time get ejected out of the game. And you know what? They're undisciplined, don't have structure, and they don't care about the consequences. Why? They've never been held accountable. Right when they doggone get kicked out of the game, the mama goes arguing with the referee when sportsmanlike conduct would have stopped some of this bad behavior thinking about, man, how you're impacting not only your team. I see this all the time. So I hope I said something to help you out, help you, you know, learn how to navigate this, take your feelings out of it and think about the task at hand. You're dealing with, you're looking at a joker in this video that's not gonna wanna work, that's gonna wanna rip and run the streets, that's gonna end up being a deadbeat himself, potentially laying up around the house, eating up all the food, you know, wanting to peddle and, and, and deal with the street life, selling drugs and dope, ain't gonna contribute to the house. It's just a, a, a poor, poor lowest version uh, of a man. That's what you're dealing with. Raising them like that, going back and forth. No, heck no. Get that joker a smooth backhand, smooth backhand, let him hold his mouth, and the minute he get ready to fix his mouth to say some more crazy stuff, give him another one. Hit him with a left and a right in love, in love. Remember that, it's all in love. Most high y'all said, spare not the rod. Hey, don't spare that two-piece neither. Closer to y'all ministries kicking it, gun barrel straight. Wow.